next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there, and that Jesus had not entered it with his disciples, but that they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into the boats and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to do the work God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it was written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, Always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never go thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. At this the Jews there began to grumble about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. And the Old Testament reading, The sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jeshub, and Shimron, four in all. The sons of Tola, Uzi, Raphaia, Jareh, Jameh, Ibsam, and Samuel, heads of their families during the reigns of David, the descendants of Tola listed as fighting men in their genealogy, number 22,600. The sons of Uzi, Israiah, the sons of Israiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah, all of them were chiefs according to their family genealogy. They had 36,000 men ready for battle, for they had many wives and children. The relatives who were fighting men belonged to all the clans of Issachar, as listed in the genealogy, were 87,000 in all. Three sons of Benjamin, Bela, Bekur, and Jediel. The sons of Bela, Esbon, Uzi, Uziel, Jeremoth, and Iri, heads of families, five in all, the genealogical record listed 22,034 fighting men. The sons of Beker, Zemariah, Joash, Eliezer, Elionai, Elmri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Elameth. All these were the sons of Bekur. The genealogical record listed the heads of families and 20,200 fighting men. The sons of Jadael, Bilhan, the sons of Bilhan, Jehush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenah, Zethan, Tarshish, and Aheshah. All these sons of Jadael were heads of families. There were 17,200 fighting men ready to go out to war. The Shuppites and Huppites were the descendants of Ur, and the Hushites and descendants of Ahur. The sons of Naphtali, Jazeel, Guni, Jezer, and Shalem, the descendants of Bilah. The descendants of Manasseh, Azrael was his descendant through Ar Aramean concubine. She gave birth to Machir, the father of Gilead. Machir took a wife from among the Huppites and Shuppites. His sister's name was Makah. Another descendant was named Zelophiad, who had only daughters. Machir's wife Makah gave birth to a son and named him Peresh. His brother was named Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakem. The sons of Ulam, Baden. These were the sons of Gilead, son of Machir, the son of Manasseh. His sister, Hamelaketh, gave birth to Ishad, Ebiezer, and Malah. The sons of Shemida were Ahayan, Shezem, Liki, and Anayim. 
The descendants of Ephraim, Shetelith Bered his son, Tahath his son, Eliada his son, Tahath his son, Zabad his son, and Shuthalah his son. Ezer and Iliad were killed by the native-born men of Gath. When they went down to seize their livestock, their father Ephraim mourned for them many days, and his relatives came to comfort him. Then he made love to his wife again, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. He named him Beriah, because there had been misfortune in his family. His daughter was Shira, who built lower and upper Beth Horon, as well as Uzan Shira. Repha was his son, Reshef his son, Tela his son, Tahan his son, Ladan his son, Amir his son, Elisama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. Their lands and settlements include Bethel and surrounding villages, Naran to the east, Gezer and the villages to the west, and Shechem and its villages all the way to Aya and its villages along the borders of Manasseh, where Beth Shan, Tanakh, Megiddo, and Dor, together with their villages, the descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Beriah, the sons of Surah. The sons of Beriah, Heber, and Malkiel, was the father of Berzeth. Heber was the father of Japhlet, Shomer, and Hotham, and their sister Shua. The sons of Japhlet, Pesach, Bimlah, Ashphath. These were Japhlet's sons. The sons of Shomer, Ahai, Roga, Hoba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helem, Zopha, Imna, Shalesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopha, Sua, Hanafa, Shual, Bari, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama, Shilsha, Ithran, and Bira. The sons of Jether, Jephunah, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ula, Ara, Haniel, and Rizei. All these were descendants of Asher, heads of families, choice men, brave warriors, and outstanding leaders. The number of men ready for battle is listed in the genealogy was 26,000. Benjamin was the father of Bela, his firstborn, Ashbel, the second son, Ahara, the third, Noah, the fourth, Rapha, the fifth. The sons of Bela were Adar, Jera, Abahud, Abishua, Naman, Ahoa, Jera, Shafufan, Huram. These were the descendants of Ehud, who were heads of families of those living in Geba and were deported to Manath. Nama, Ahia, and Gera, who had deported them, and who was the father of Uzzah and Ehud. Sons were born to Shaharim in Moab after he had divorced his wives, Hushim and Bara. By the wife Hadesh, he had Jobab, Zabiah, Misha, Malcolm, Jews, Sakiah, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of families. By Hushim, he had Abitub and Elpal. The sons of Elpal, Eber, Misham, Shemed, who built Ono and Lod with its surrounding villages. Bariah and Shema, who were heads of families and those living in Ajalon, and who drove out the inhabitants of Gath. Ahio, Shashash, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishba, and Joah were the sons of Bariah. Zebediah, Meshulam, Hiski, Heber, Ishmerai, Isla, and Jobab were the sons of Elpal. Jakim, Zikri, Zabidi, Eliani, Zithai, Eliel, Abediah, Bariah, and Shimrath were the sons of Shimei. Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Edon, Zikrin, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Atothahitya, Ithadiah, and Penuel were the sons of Shashak. Shemrasai, Shehariah, Athaliah, Jereshiah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jeroam. All these were the heads of family chiefs as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem. Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Makkah, and the firstborn son was Abdon, follower by Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gidor, Ahio, Zikr, and Mikloth, who was the father of Shimea. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The sons of Jonathan, Meribal, who was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Teria, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jehadoah. Jehadoah was the father of Elmeth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Beniah. Rapha was his son, Eliasha his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Azrikam, Bakaru, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of his brother Eshek, Ulam, his firstborn, Jehush, the second son, and Eliphalet, the third. The sons of Ulam were brave warriors who could handle the bow. They had many sons and daughters, 150 in all. All these were the descendants of Benjamin. All Israel was listed 
in the genealogies recorded in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, they were taken captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now, the first to resettle on their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. Those from Judah, from Benjamin, and from Ephraim and Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem were Uthai, son of Ahumud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah. Of the Shelonites, Asiah, the firstborn, and his sons. Of the Zerahites, Jul. The people from Judah numbered 690. Of the Benjamites, Salu, son of Meshulam, the son of Hadaviah, the son of Mahasana. Ibniah, son of Jeroam, Ella, son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, the Meshulam, son of Sheptiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah. The people from Benjamin, as listed in the genealogy, numbered 956. All these men were heads of their families. Of the priests, Jediah, Jehoreb, Jekiri, Azariah, son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meriath, the son of Ahitub, the official in charge of the house of God. Adiah, son of Jeroan, the son of Pashur, the son of Bashkia, and Masal, son of Adiel, the son of Jerzah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshilameth, the son of Immer. The priests who were heads of families numbered 1,760. They were able men responsible for ministering in the house of God. Of the Levites, Shemaliah, son of Hashub, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, of the Merorite, Bakbar, Harish, Galal, and Mataniah, son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, Obadiah, son of Mishamiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of Netopathites. The gatekeepers, Shalom, Akub, Talman, Ahiman, and their fellow Levites, Shalom, their chief, being stationed at the gates on the east of the present time. These were the gatekeepers belonging to the camp of the Levites, Shalom, son of Kor, the son of Epiasab, the son of Korah, and his fellow gatekeepers from the family of the Kohathites were responsible for guarding the thresholds of the tent, just as their ancestors had been responsible for guarding the entrance of the dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times, Phineas, son of Eleazar, was the official in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah, son of Meshilamiah, was the gatekeeper at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds number 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of the trust of De by David of Samuel, the seer. They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the tent of meeting. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their fellow Levites in their villages had to come from time to time and share their duties for seven-day periods. But the fourth principal gatekeepers who were Levites were trusted with the responsibility for the rooms and treasuries in the house of God. They would spend the night stationed around the house of God because they had to guard it, and they had charge of the key for opening it each morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service. They counted them when they were brought in, and then they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the special flour and wine and the olive oil, incense, and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Metir, the firstborn of Shalom and Karahite, was entrusted with the responsibility for baking the offering bread. Some of the Kohathites, were fellow Levites, were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, head of Levite family, stayed in the rooms of the temple and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the work day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs, as indicated in their genealogy as they lived in Jerusalem. Jeliel, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Makkah, and his firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shimeam. They too lived near the relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbalal. The son of jo Jonathan, Merbabal, was the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Teria, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jada. Jada was the father of Elameth, Asmazeth, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Biniah. Rephiah was his son. Eliasa, his son, and Azel, his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Azrakam, Bakaru, Ishmael, Shariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.